Hello guys, and welcome to episode 7 of our TeamSpeak tutorial series. So, in this episode, uh, I would like to show you how to set up a verified guest group, or uh, just guest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, this group is going to be the group that anyone who is going to go through like a um, interview process, let's say, with uh, someone from the TeamSpeak administration, uh, is going to be assigned this group. So basically, uh, this is only to prevent uh, people like, uh, you know, some ninja people or just some spam bots and stuff like that uh, from actually getting this, uh, this group. So that's why we set up our guest in the previous video, and in today's video we're going to set up the verified guest. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to copy this group, as I showed you in the previous video, and create this verified guest group, which is right now a copy of the guest group. Uh, first thing you need to do, uh, as you've just copied a group that is not permanent, is type in permanent and tick that the group is permanent to make sure that it stays on the guy. Uh, next thing I need you to do is to go to sort ID and set it uh, to 100 or whatever uh, your sorting is, uh, as uh, whenever you are copying any server group, uh, it is going to copy every single permission. So change uh, change it to permanent and change the sort ID. Now, as you can see, uh, we have the same permissions. Uh, however, this is a verified guest, so he's going to get more power than the unverified one. Uh, so, for example, in the joint power, we're going to pump it up to 10. Uh, same with private uh, text message power, same with client talk power. And let's say that we also want to make sure that he cannot be kicked by the same people. So let's pump this up to 30 and needed client move power is going to be 20. Uh, you are probably wondering right now uh, why these little numbers, when they can all get kicked or, uh, you know, moved by our TeamSpeak administration. Well. In future episodes, I will be setting up a system of ranks for your, uh, I don't know, some kind of clan or task force. I'm probably going to do just simple military ranks uh, to demonstrate that. And they are going to have some kind of powers like these. So that is why I'm setting it to these numbers. Now, uh, this stays completely the same. Also make sure that the verified guest can also use the privilege keys to gain permissions. Uh, again, if you want a scenario, uh, so let's say someone joined the TeamSpeak, uh, he is not a spam bot, so he got the verified guest, and uh, in the future you want to give him, uh, you want to give him a TeamSpeak administrator group. However, uh, you can't because maybe again you're on vacation or you just cannot log on to your TeamSpeak, so we're going to create a privilege key and give it to him. Very simple. Uh, in terms of access, that is everything that we're going to do here. We don't need him. To have any other permissions, uh, so that's about it. Now, uh, next up, what we want to do is that we want to look a little bit into group modify uh, because we are actually going to start giving a little bit of member add power and member remove power. So, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to give him five of each uh, add and remove. And we're going to create a music bot group so that verified guests can have their own music bots and they uh, don't need to bother admins with assigning music bots. So that's why we're going to give him a little bit of ad power in here. Uh, and next up, what we're going to do is that we're going to take a look at the basics here and we're going to keep it like this however if you want what you could do is that you could give them access to let's say poke people uh, again I've said this before this can really be annoying and in some cases uh, people can even crash your computer using the pokebot program but uh, we are going to give him a little bit of poke power so let's say we're gonna do 10 right and we're going to work with that in the future. Uh, and the very last thing that we're going to do is that we're going to give them the ability to upload their own avatars. So max avatar file size minus one. 
and this basically allows them to upload their own avatars. So as of now, as you can see, uh, we have set our verified guest server group. Uh, he has a little bit more power, he can upload his own avatars, and when I'm thinking about it, uh, maybe we could do mm, modify own client description, because why not? So yeah, this is like the general template that you could use for a verified guest. Uh, so that is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos. If you'd like to support me, you can check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. And as always, have a good day.